All right, so uh, yeah, welcome to this video. Uh, basically, I've had a lot of people messaging me asking me how to get back in their Facebook. Uh, has it been hacked with a third party app? I Meaning you gotta get a code generator. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through some steps here. Um, I've done this twice so far and it's worked. So let's see if you can get through it too. All right, so the uh, first thing here is when you uh, go into Facebook, go to facebook.com, I would uh, do this on a browser on a mobile phone or on the desktop app and click forgot password. Uh, from there, you're gonna input your email or mobile number that was used with your account. Um, this will get you back into where you can change your password. Next, it's gonna ask you to send the code to your email or phone, cell phone number. You're gonna have to be able to do this in order to get back in, some things you're going to have to have to get back in is your email access or phone access. Uh, also, you'll need to um, be able to um, have your ID. You got to be able to post a picture of your ID or your birth, not birth certificate, marriage license, a few other things can be used. Uh, we'll get to that later on, but you got to be able to have some kind of federal form of ID. So. Next, you're going to go to your phone and get the six-digit code from email or SMS. You can do this on a browser as well, but you need the six-digit code. Put it in there, and you're going to hit continue, and that will let you move to the next step. All right, next, this is where they get you. This is where they apply the two-factor authentication app. You got to use the code generator. They added a code generator to lock you out. And we're going to use a method to get back in by uh, needing another way to authenticate. And I can't speak very well. You'll you'll be fine once you get in your Facebook. You'll be happy. Um, let me go back to yeah. Here we go. So next, uh, you'll go to this screen. You'll click confirm your identity. Uh, I recommend doing this on a phone if available. It makes it easier for the picture part. Um, you're going to click uh, confirm your identity here, and then you'll see this pop up. You're going to click get started. Next, uh, you're going to enter an email address. I recommend not using the email address you normally use. Use uh, a loved one's email, someone that's there with you that can check it for you. Um, and uh, this will help you get in quicker. If they've hacked your email too, this helps you get around that. So you're going to first uh, click OK or Next. You're going to enter the email twice just to confirm that it matches. Um, and then it's going to ask you to upload a copy or take a picture of a copy. Um, I've seen it done twice. The first time I did it, I was able to take and hold um, an ID up to this webcam and it worked. Uh, the second second time I did it, I had to take a picture. Uh, I did it on the iPhone, took a picture, it worked. Um, and then also I've seen where you have to take a picture and upload it. So whatever comes up here, you can do driver's license, passport, marriage certificate. There's a few other options in there. It says they save it up to a year. That's a little sketchy, but if you're locked out and you want to get back in, this is how you have to do it. All right, it'll take you to a place to take a picture or document. I've, uh, like I said, only done this ID. Uh, I can't show you this again, unfortunately. Um, like I've done it twice, but I, if I do it to the accounts I've done it to so far, it's gonna lock them out. So I don't want to do it again. The things I do need to warn you about is uh, you gotta make sure the picture is flat. You gotta make sure all four corners of the ID is in there. You gotta make sure you can read it and uh, what I've seen is I've seen about an hour in order for you to get those back. So um, you just keep watching that email you typed in on the last screen. You wait about an hour. It could take up to 24 hours, they say, or 48 hours, depending on. I've seen them both. Uh, but do not do this step again. It will flag your account and might possibly keep you out of it permanently. So, again, do not do this twice. Do this once. Wait the hour. 24 hours, probably max, to get back in. So... Approximately one hour later or so, you'll get an email that looks like this. And again, this is one that I got earlier. I was able to get in somebody's account for them. Um, in this, there's going to be a code at the end I've knocked out, and then a code here that I've knocked out. You can either go to facebook.com, use the email or phone number, and this is your password, or you can just simply click here. Once you click here, it's going to get you back into your account, and you're going to be able to um, add in a new password and things like that. And I'm going to show you what you're going to need to do once you get in there. So again, I ask you to do a new password. I recommend something quick and easy. I would also write this down before you even type it in because in the heat of the moment, you might forget 
um, to again makes it make it something easy but it's got to hit that number letter symbol capital letter qualifications which makes it a pain in the butt next you're going to go to settings privacy and then settings again so you, you go up to your top right on the mo or on the desktop app on the mobile it's going to be underneath um, I can look real quick. I don't want to lie to you. So under the app, it's going to be under menu, and then settings and privacy settings again, and it's going to look very similar to this. And you can go into password security in there and do the same thing we're going to do. So again, settings and privacy on uh, here, then settings again, and then uh, it's going to show your emails here. Under contact, under the first screen, the first thing I recommend doing is going into edit and remove any account in there that is not yours. For example, I put this in there just to show you unknown email gmail.com. I obviously don't know who that is, so I want to remove them, leaving me in there as owner of this account. This is another thing they do. They add your uh, their email and they make it the main email and then they uh, will do some sketchy stuff to keep you out of there. That's one of the ways they do it. All right, so we're up to six minutes. I'm trying to hurry. Uh, security and login. You're going to go back, go into this uh, menu again, security and login. And the other things you're going to look for is the first thing, how many people are logged in where they're logged in. If you don't know who iPhone, whatever it is, click these three dots and hit remove and do that to everyone except for the active now. Uh, the active now should be your PC or your computer. Um, either way, get rid of the ones you don't know. Next, change password. Well, we just did that. You might want to go back and do that at the end. Um, and then next is use two-factor authentication. That's the most important thing. This is where they're locking people out at also. So you're going to come in here. It's going to probably have this already set up. And you can click remove. So the first thing you want to do is remove that. That's the way that they're forcing you to have that six-digit code that you can't get unless you have that app. So remove that. And then next, you're going to use text messages. You'll type your phone number in, give you a six-digit code, it'll let you in. Uh, and what that does is when you log into an unknown browser or unknown phone, you'll have to get a text message before you can get in. This will keep hackers from getting back into your computer, getting back into your Facebook. If you have the Duo app or a simple sim similar app, I recommend setting this up. I have the Duo app for work. I used it. It helped me stay logged in. Security key is a USB. I'm pretty sure it's a special device. I don't have one, so I didn't do that part. Also on a desktop, you can download uh, 10 codes, um, and I will, man, I don't have time to get over that now. Not that important. All right, so uh, let me go back two slides here. If you go to give alerts um, about unrecognized logins, you'll see this screen. This is important too. Um, go under here, kit get notifications click email this is going away soon before eventually it'll start showing up in your uh mobile phone app so that will save you there and then so not what i wanted to do so yeah um it'll it'll get you there um so again you're removing the old emails of people you don't know, you're resetting your password, getting rid of that uh, authentic third party authentication app, and that'll let you get back in there without having to have their logins. Um, I've seen these people, I've heard stories of these people trying to save their cards under and um, getting all the information, um, getting people try, try to get people sending money, a bunch of no laws. So, yeah, get in there, get it done. And again, the worst part of this is the wait. Once you upload your ID, it'll take them up to an hour or 24 hours to send you something. And uh, my first time I did it, got in there easily. I waited. Second time I did it for somebody, uh, I went in and typed two different email addresses and it flagged the account. So currently I'm waiting to get it unflagged. So uh, I'll let you know if I get an update on that. But again, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this helps you out. Give uh, the Facebook channel a like and Subscribe if you don't care. Share it with your friends. Appreciate it. Peace out, everybody.